Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Ground Control Dark Conspiracy as we complete our campaign. Last time we identified the cell where Deacon Jared is being held. So today I presume we will be launching a full-scale operation to bust him out. But there might be a third party involved because someone started bombing the base while we were scoping it out. So let's see how this all unfolds. Boss, we need to move the men in right now. The base is being blasted from orbit. The transmissions we've intercepted say the attack is being led by some Donny named Cardinal Keela Balor. What? What the hell does she think she's doing? You know her? Yes, I know her. She's the one who told me about Galen in the Second Dawn. I wanted to tell you, but... Well, this is a hell of a time to find out. Now look, Mark, I had my reasons. I don't want to hear it right now, Major. Stone is still in there, and for better or worse, we'll pull him out. Right now, your ex-roommate is too busy with your friend Keela to put up much of a struggle against us if we move in now. You just make friends wherever you go, don't you, Major? Fine. I'll have everyone ready and equipped in five minutes. Sarah out. All right, so get the Jared Cell and pull him out of the this war zone. Destroy any Craven or Order troops that get in your way. Oh, so we'll be fighting both of them. All right, Craven Army, Prison Complex, Order Army. <laughs> All right, so we should have full. All right. We're probably going to go all in on vehicles here. Uh, ba, ba, ba. All right. And then are these pyrodines? Are these? Uh, are these support? I guess I'll find out. <laughs> but it looks like we'll get at least three support units. Oh, we can have four support units. Perfect. So I think this will do us fine. Uh, so, yeah, these guys are going to be uh, pre-con for us. Everyone else is basically... We're going all in on heavy pyrodynes here. So we will make those changes now. I suppose two of these can have the uh, Hellfire or the Hell and Back rockets. This three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we'll give three of them that. This we'll have two artillery pieces here. Nuclear napalm. Yeah. And then we will have uh, two anti-air. Uh, pyrodynes just to provide us some close air support since we aren't taking any aerodynes on the mission so let us begin new drop zone is now available ship entering atmosphere allied structure has been destroyed ship entering atmosphere all right ship entering atmosphere no Enemy yet hoverdyne dispatched Glad you made it. Rachel's doing a good job of holding off Keela's forces, but it doesn't look like she'll last long. Get in, get Jared out, and we can let them tear each other's throats out. Right. Major Parker, I was wondering if this was your doing. Good work. Save it, Keela. I need to get into that base. Get out of my way. Not likely. We can't allow traitors to the Order to live. Stone is mine. We had a deal, Keela. I never promised anything about Stone. Yes, Commander. You're right, Donnie, and I never promised not to kill you. Now get out of my way. All right, so <laughs> you can see there's a lot of enemy uh, hoverdyne. A lot of ground fire going on here. Looks like they've got rocket pterodynes guarding the prison. Anti or. Uh, Ground attack aerodynes. We've got these are probably beam cannons there. Destroyed. But we have one simple objective. So I'm not Enemy gonna worry about dispatched. leveling the whole base. Enemy All right, let's uh but I will exercise some caution. So let's move orders have been received. Uh you are on return, return fire, fire only. Enemy structure has been and we can destroyed. see it's pretty much the same map as before. We have the crater here. Is this 
Enemy okay, it's just a feature, destroyed. I guess. I was just wondering if maybe that's where the uh, shield generator was that we Enemy wore out last time. Dispatched. On my way. Honestly, it's looking pretty clear Enemy so far. Oh, what do we got? Outposts? That's fine. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Right. So we are going to move Movement up. Enemy yes, Commander. I am moving out. Yes, Commander. Moving. You got it, Commander. All right, we can see our orders. Is just move your APC to Jared's cell. Excuse me, to free him. All right, so our main opposition at first is probably going to be the Order Enemy Army. Infantry dispatched. Orders have been received. But then uh, I imagine that will change. All right, nestle yourself in these way. buildings. You got it, Commander. Medium. Have been received. Oh, wow, they are in I heard you. very dispatched. poor condition. Uh, Let's see. So why don't you set up here? Gotcha. I'm on my way. Movement orders received. Set you there. On set you way, there. Commander. And Command set you APC, here. Moving out. You got and it, actually, Commander. I'm feeling a little bold. So what we could do is uh, use the Ares AP rounds Move and uh, been received. knock the one with more health out. Is that even necessary? Coming, Commander. Wow, that was a you got it, Commander. A whiff of a shot. Move All right, there's got to be like more. Oh, they're uh, under attack by Craven Aerodynes. There. I heard you. I'm shooting to kill. Oh, it looks like they can't penetrate the frontal armor, maybe? Move orders have been re I heard you. You got it, Commander. That's fine. We can, uh... You two move, move up. <laughs> you will annihilate them. Been I can't get there. Meanwhile, we're going to push our recon troops up you here. Got it, Commander. Actually, it seems like we should be able to push everyone up here. Move orders confirmed. Enemy Hoverdyne dispatched. These guys will Taking pull position, back Commander. there, and then we'll have yes, Commander, moving out. These guys up front because they're Move probably going to be received. a big threat. Move orders have been received. All right, we're going to move a recon up. I heard you on my way. So I just want to, it looks like most of the defenses have been destroyed, but I don't want to be caught with my pants down trying to charge full in. Movement orders are confirmed. All right, anti-air pyrodynes move up. You got it, Commander. All right, move out so we don't get spotted. Yes, Commander, moving out. Actually, let's form up way, here Commander. properly before we go charging in. Good thing Aquila stopped bombarding the base. <laughs> this That could have made this a whole lot worse. Oh, come on. Why can't you guys pathfind better? Move orders confirmed. Yes, Commander. Gotcha. I'm on my way. There we go. There we go. Now that they're reformed, we should be able to push yes, up Commander, to the out. next intersection there. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Yes, Commander. I am there moving we out. go. Yes, Commander. Moving. Enemy aerodyne dispatched. Squad 10 is under enemy fire. All right. Move Push forward a little more. On my way, Commander. Firing on aerodyne, Commander. There we go. 
I hate how they always like overshoot and then circle around. It's like unnecessary airtime. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if they had used lead pursuit instead of a leg pursuit method, you know, then they might not even get shots off at my anti air pyrodynes, which maybe that's the idea, you know, to basically give air units a chance, but. Gotcha. I mean, I would argue that's what the, um, Command APC moving out. uh, that's what the, uh, what should we call it, the, the anti-missile defense system it, is Commander. for. This is the final mission in the game. There's no way it's this easy, right? All right, let's get a view of what's in there. Squad 10 recharging. You got it, Commander. Squad 1 is under Ooh, Okay, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> I knew it. I knew something was uh possibly waiting for us there. Uh are we in weapons range? Ooh, just barely. Special weapon being used. Lay down that nuclear napalm. Meanwhile, let's get all of our armored units to push forward. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Our anti-air units can continue to push way, forward. Move order received. And then our artillery Taking units position, can Commander. push forward. Which okay, we did fire our around there. Enemy pterodyne dispatched. Fuck yeah. That's what I like to see. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of Craven units in the canyon. That's fine. I heard you on my way. Actually, let's see if we can uh, use this break in the fence to kind of... You got it, Commander. To kind of spot out... Uh... Oh yeah, we, we took some casualties from that too. Or not casualties, but a little bit of damage. Move orders have been received. Oh boy. Alright, so are they in range? That's the next big question. They are not. That is okay. We can push up some more and try to get within range. Gotcha. I'm on my way. I'll actually have artillery as the Yes, Commander. I am uh, moving out. Uh I want artillery Moving as the received. second tier yes, in anti air artillery out. as the third yes, tier in this case. Alright, we got power armor that doesn't trouble me too much. They got several squads of main battle pterodynes. Squad one is under enemy fire. Uh, I heard you on my way. Alright, I don't know who sees you or is shooting at you, but get back. And uh, heal up at the APC, actually. One of those guys is kind of wounded, so. Um, I think I'll have to push my artillery up further, even. Taking position, Commander. Let's yes, try Commander. here. I'm moving out. A little daring, but. If we Squad continue to recharging. use. Uh... Move orders have been received. Continue to use these snipers for spotting. We shouldn't have many problems. I heard you on my way. There we go. You got so it, let's Commander. hide you behind that wall. Uh, they're gonna have to move forward a little bit more. Movement orders received. But I think it will be worth it if we can use some nuclear napalm to knock out like another group of vehicles. Kind of a good investment. All right, so Move pop out. Been received. Yes, Commander. I am moving out. And we'll Special put weapon being used. one down there, and Special one down there. Being used. All right. Good thing they're pretty much stationary. We won't get this group that's patrolling, unfortunately, but. 
You guys pull yes, back. I'm moving turbine. out. Dispatched. That is severe damage on all of them. All right. I heard you on my way. Let's see what else is there. We have those anti-air paradigms. They don't concern me too much. Squad one is under enemy fire. Like honestly, the only thing I'm really concerned about is the uh, the rocket paradigms. Have been received. Movement orders are confirmed. Command All right, APC so I think we're. You might be ready to breach here soon, actually. I heard you on my way. Teal them up, and then let's start having Squad artillery pound the way area, Commander. at uh, one of their known patrol routes. Okay, yes, I need Commander. you to scoot up a little bit. You should be repaired. Command move orders have been received. So move back up to the front. I heard you on my way. And this will either force them to come within range of all of our big guns, or they'll just take fire and die. You got it, Commander. All right, push out a little further. There we go. Enemy infantry dispatched. Yeah. There we go. There's a pterodactyl gone, and those, those are basically their spotters. So. They're the ones that I think are spotting our snipers this far out. All right, they have another squad, but they've taken some hits. So I think we can pretty much just uh, keep landing shots here. Enemy pterodyne dispatched. Ooh, there goes that squad. Suppressing fire, Commander. All right, hold fire, hold fire. Uh, move orders have been received. Okay, they still got uh. Commencing destruction, Commander. Squad one is under enemy fire. Uh, let's put special weapon being used. I heard you. Oh, they got way. power armor down there. Shooting to kill. Actually, move orders have been received. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I heard you on my way. Enemy infantry shooting to kill. All right. Squad uh, one is under enemy fire. Move orders Enemy's have been received. Squad one. Okay, fuck it. Pull back, pull back. I heard uh, you on my way. We will area, Commander. Demolishing area, Commander. bring artillery down upon them then. That should take care of them. And now Demolishing area, Commander. Squad let's demolish recharging. that area. Enemy infantry dispatched. There we go. Squad one recharging. Got to really do our best you to keep these ahead. guys alive. Actually, that would probably be a good use for the binoculars. Now remember, we can only look through the binoculars four times. Yes, Commander. I am moving out. All right, you guys halt your fire for a while. I want you to move up closer so we can lay down more suppressing fire. Get a better idea of where things are. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Special weapon being used. There we go. And then we'll keep area, demolishing that. So they have a huge reserve area. I assume whenever we... Uh, throw our command APC into here, they probably all aggro on us. At least that's what I would do if I were the developer. So... Enemy pterodyne dispatched. There we go. That should soften them up a bit. Enemy structure has been destroyed. Okay, they're recharging. All right, Demolishing area, let's Commander. start hitting these guys' patrol routes, because the rocket paradigms are really the only thing that frightens me. 
Demolishing area, Commander. Put a few rounds down there. Because I know that's part of their route. Demolishing area, Commander. There we go. And let's get some eyes on the situation again. I am aware the heavies might try to flank me here, because they could come out here, come around, and hit us from the side. Doesn't seem to be happening, though. Enemy pterodyne dispatched. There we go. Hold fire. Move orders have been received. Rachel, there is no way you can hold off that army. Let me help. We can... We are not going to do a thing, traitor. My men will treat you as any other enemy. Damn it, Rachel! I don't want to have to kill you! We all make choices, Sarah. Do what you have to do. Ah. Uh. Squad one is under enemy fire. Oh, Unit I heard lost. you. What? So oh, fuck. Squad one. Get out of there. Destroyed. Get out. No. Do they have their own counter snipers? All right, we're moving. We will be moving in shortly. Did I? I can't believe I used all my napalm. Demolishing area, Commander. Alrighty, but that's fine. You guys do what you have to do to get within range. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Gotcha. I'm we're on going my way. to uh, move down into the. Uh... On my way, Commander. I think now we're going to move in. Moving out. <laughs> Uh, they had a, one guy left with power armor there. Enemy infantry dispatched. All right, but this should open up her reserves to being targeted by us. We can use the anti-air pyrodynes for scouting, should it come to that. Um, let's take two of our rear heavies and move them there. That way they can intercept those mediums on Open their patrol. All right, you guys come on down. Move orders, come on, you guys need should be able to reform now. And that should put them within range. <laughs> I wish I had more nuclear napalm, but uh, Squad seven is go under for enemy it. Fire. Enemy Pterodyne dispatched. Move order received. Alright, now we can get uh Sarah in there Enemy to rescue uh dispatched. There we go. Enemy oh, We can get Sarah in there to rescue Jared, and then we should be able to just evac, I'm hoping. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Squad five is under Attack enemy fire. Squad five. Knock out the fragmentary. Move Jared to my APC. Sarah, Dispatched. return the prisoner to his cell immediately. Yes, Commander, moving. Do what you have to, Rachel. Jared is secure. Command Let's get out of here, boys. All right, Jared, move your APC to Jared's cell to free him. Drop zone. Return to the drop zone. Enemy Teradyne dispatched. All right, I assume now there's going to be a lot of order forces moving in. But we've basically neutered Rachel's pursuit army, so let us reform up here. Yes, Commander. I am moving out. Yes, Commander, moving out. And we're pretty much going back to where we started, I think. So hopefully there's not too many order forces behind us, but... We got what we came for, and there's the <laughs> could make this an hour long or two hour long mission of where I just kill everyone and get everyone up to like really good status, but there's no reason to really excuse me, you know. We're here for Jared, that's it. <laughs> no sense in wasting more uh, okay, so they Squad did spawn some units behind fire. us. Squad nine recharging. All right, move, move up received. a little bit more to recharge those units. Yep, because we got to keep them up front. All right, our, is our heavy pyrodynes are moving up to engage. 
Enemy Aerodyne dispatched. Squad 10 recharging. Enemy Pterodyne All right. dispatched. Squad 5 is taking friendly fire. Squad 5 is under enemy fire. Squad 10 recharging. See, even the bombers with as slow as they fly. Friendly fire. Enemy Aerodyne dispatched. Enemy Aerodyne dispatched. All right. Squad 3 is taking friendly fire. Some damage squad there. Six is under enemy fire. Unit lost. Ooh. Squad 10. Squad 10 recharging. Bear yourself there. Unit lost. Squad 6. Squad 3 is taking friendly fire. All right, enemy so we lost... Dispatched. One tank, it looks like. Not the squad worst. Nine, Obviously, it's not an enviable position, but we didn't have another squad wipe, so. Yes, Commander. Moving. Move up there. They're... Okay. They did knock out basically one of our anti-air squadrons, too. That's squad 11, not squad ideal. 10. But, hey, that makes it easier to use them for scouting, I guess. Squad three and yes, I'm still peeped that my Craven attack dispatched. aerodynes don't get that auto cannon. Squad ten recharging. All right, Enemy let's move scouts. Sarah up and recharging. recharge some Squad of these other people. Enemy aerodyne dispatched. All right. Then I want to repair my front line, Squad and then we can look towards. Yes, uh, moving out. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. We can look towards um, pushing forward. Actually, let's scout with these guys. I think I just want to go straight here, and then straight Squad here, recharging. make it a nice straight shot. So you guys push up. Ooh. Something blew up over there. <laughs> Squad six recharging. Yeah, these guys took a lot of hits from those bombers. Yeah, that's why I, I really not fond of the leg pursuit thing they got going on because even with eight anti-air pterodynes fire or pyrodynes firing, they were still able to penetrate and kill some units. Namely, most of my anti-air units, so. Which isn't as much for the, a problem for the AI because yes, they generally have a uh, lot more resources than us. Right. Squad two, recharging. All right, so these guys have good perception, so I'll way, probably Commander. just send them out on their own. I don't know. Someone's got a problem gotcha. here I'm that they're going to have to fix, but. <laughs> okay, that's his partner. Yes, Commander. Moving. Command All right, ABC. so we'll move Sarah Moving across, out. repair the rest. Um, if these guys can unfuckle themselves, then uh, yes, Commander. Moving. Move, Movement move order straight out. On my okay. way, Commander. Go, go, go. Yes, Commander. No, Moving just out. you were pointed right. Just you have room. Move between them. Move order received. Why is this so hard for them? Movement okay, fine. Go that way then. Yes, Commander. Moving. Come on. Come on. I know your clunky little AI brains can handle this. There we go. We did it. We freed them. Alright. Oh no, these guys gotta reform. Just fuck off to the side where you aren't gonna cause anyone else any issues. Yes, Commander, moving out. Movement orders are All right. confirmed. Whoop. On my way. Yes, Commander, Squad moving out. Is under Not going fire. that way. Movement orders are confirmed. Although we do have firing coordinates now. Polishing area, Commander. Command APC, moving out. Maybe I will go that way, just break through everyone. <laughs> Demolishing area, Commander. 10, recharging. All right, so all of our frontal units should be prepared to receive yes, an attack in force. Squad 10, recharging. 
Yeah, that should kill. Dispatched. That should kill some of them. There we go. Yeah, that sounds like they're blowing up all right. Actually, I did change my mind. I do want to go through here because then that gives us elevation so we can see down onto these areas. So we do have the advantage and we do want to go up here. Okay. On uh, my way, Commander. Yes, Commander, moving I out. need you to peek up again. Movement orders are confirmed. Yes, Commander. You guys can They're move. Move order received. Let's see what's left. Waypoint added. Don't stay up there too long. I just need to see. Okay, they got heavies. Oh, Rachel's there even. Okay. Demolishing area, Commander. Swat there we go. Is under enemy fire. Movement orders are confirmed. Well, they aren't going to be much longer for this world. <laughs> Squad 10, recharging. Enemy Teradyne. There we go. Enemy Teradyne, dispatched. That should do some damage. All right. This thing don't fly, Commander. Move orders confirmed. Oh. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Why is your formation gotcha. so funky? There we go. Way. On my way, Commander. Yes, Commander. Moving. All right, and then... Yes, Commander. I am moving out. We'll move up. But that should be Rachel and her goons put out of business. Up. Oh. Demolishing area, They Commander. have counter-battery fire. We're not going to wait for those Three hits to land, though. We are going to push forward. Squad 3 is under enemy fire. Oh, sure. He can move fast up. Where the fuck is this guy going? All right. All right, so they're holding their ground, apparently. Squad five is under enemy fire. All right. Enemy territory. We knock out that artillery, we basically win this battle. Squad five is taking friendly fire. Enemy All right. Commencing destruction dispatched. command target is confirmed. Squad two is taking friendly Knock fire. out those heavies and then Squad everyone else can kind of just APC move off, I guess. Move order received. And that should be enough Squad artillery. Is taking friendly fire. Taking artillery move up. Enemy Teradyne dispatched. All right. We don't get any death screams for uh, <laughs> for Rachel. I don't know if we actually killed her or she was smart enough. I will not allow the heretic to leave this planet alive. Will you people leave me the hell alone? Jared is coming with me, Keela, and I have no problem shooting my way through a soft, two-faced, dawny politician like you. How dare you speak to me like that? I will personally shove those words down your heathen throat. Well, uh, okay, so she's got Aerodynes, apparently. Recharging. Demolishing Enemy area commander. Dispatched. Oh, there goes Rachel. I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> Squad 6, recharging. Alright, so they're just kind of blowing everyone up now. Enemy structure has been destroyed. Right, I want to take out their artillery because once again, that's going to be squad seven. Recharging. That's going to be the game maker here. Command APC moving out. Movement orders are confirmed. Let's see if we can get eyes on them, but it's not the most important thing in the world. We have a rough location on where the dropship's landing, and that's about all I need. There we go. So as long as they don't move too far. On my way, Commander. 
Next, I'll bring uh, the anti-aircraft artillery up with them to provide spotting. At least we can spot stuff that's moving in to attack us. You know, like uh, these guys. Alright. Uh, there we go. Let's prepare one of you at least. Oh, they got a goddamn drone carrier, too. Alright, they locked, knocked out the rest of that squad. There, attack the drone carrier. That's fucked them. Does this work against ground targets? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, Commander. Cutting them down, Commander. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. Are they still going after my artillery? Enemy hover dive there we go. I feel like the drones should all blow up once you destroy the carrier, but... Gotcha. I'm on my way. Move on. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. All right, let's see what we're up against now. We still have one artillery piece. Yes, Commander. Movement orders received. Taking position, Commander. Of course their artillery gotcha. survived. I'm on my way. All right, keep pushing, keep pushing. Squad nine recharging. Squad seven is under enemy fire. Did our artillery kill anyone? Jesus. Uh, okay, we need Demolishing immediate counter battery fire. We've at least knocked out their air support. Attack orders. Yes, commander. Moving into position. Squad five is under enemy fire. Special weapons enemy deployed. Yes, there we go. Dispatched. Moving into position. Squad seven is taking friendly fire. Special Alright. Yes, gotcha. Who knows, maybe we were lucky and it was only the artillery that survived. Squad five is under enemy fire. Alright, but this should be the final Attack orders received. Okay, attack yes, Kila Balor. Enemy infantry dispatched. Alright, uh everyone else kinda Get in the fray, everyone. <laughs> gotcha. I'm on my way. Enemy hoverdyne dispatched. All right. Cutting them down, Commander. Move orders confirmed. All tanks fire on Kila Balor. Move orders confirmed. And artillery yes, move up. Moving you don't need fire. friendly fire. Yes, Commander. Moving into position. That's right. Run, bitch. Should have commanded this operation from orbit. Kill Kila, destroy Kila's APC. Yeah, so we can't even evacuate until we kill her now. This thing don't fly. Squad four is recharging. All right. Well. Yes, Commander. Moving. Command APC. All right. Moving, moving up. Moving up. You guys yes, move up. Commander, moving out. All right. Enemy ah! hover dispatched. Ah! She shouldn't have gotten in my way. Yes, Commander. All right, moving now we position. can uh, pull out. Gotcha. I'm on my way. Everyone, proceed to the drop Mission zone. Coming to get you. Thank. Squad 5, reach out. Jared? Jared? You in there? Sarah? Sarah, is that you? Oh, you shouldn't have come, Sarah. You should have left me. Oh, knock off the martyr crap. Why don't you try a thank you, Sparky? Damn it, Sarah. Listen to me. It was a trap. They were using you to break through the Craven defenses. They were betting you'd come after me. They had it all planned out. They who, Jared? The Second Dawn? Enrica? No, she was there, but not her. It was someone called M. He wanted into that base very badly, Sarah. But what about the conspiracy? 
Are you saying... Oh my god, Jared. As far as I could tell, it was a normal Craven base, and not part of any conspiracy. Em, listen, you have to believe me. I didn't know Parker had control of the satellite. There was no way she should have made it out alive. You have to- Be quiet, Enrica. You know you are most useful when you have no idea what's really going on. There are no unknowns. Everything is precise. Every contingency planned for. You, Parker Galen, everything that happened was perfect. Now, all pawns are in place. And it is time to move the game forward. With what? Nothing you need to worry about. For now. What have I done? Interesting. And unfortunately, this is where the story... Hey, high voltage side. Uh, floating in space for some reason. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is where the story leaves off. Because in Ground Control 2, uh, it's basically a completely different story. They move the timeline forward hundreds of years, I think. And there is next to no connection to this game, unfortunately. Uh, but that's interesting. We see that... Okay, so M wanted into the base. There wasn't a conspiracy there, so it wasn't... Which means it wasn't part of the conspiracy forces to begin with. But now he has whatever was in that base. We at least got stone out. Um, which means Rachel and Keela and us probably all played right into his hands. Then, um, then it makes you wonder what was in the base that was uh, ooh, high voltage diner restaurant and ice cream shop. Come visit. Totally would. <laughs> but it does make me wonder what was in that base. Probably more Xenofax that he was going to use the plot to take control of the universe. But I guess we'll never know, unfortunately. Because like I said, this is where the story leaves off. And um, as far as the expansion itself, I like a lot of things about it. And there are a few things I didn't like, but... Um, Obviously, adding a new faction is always generally kind of fun. You know, you get a new play style like these guys. Um, they were um, very slow to move, even slower than Craven to even get going. So it makes them very vulnerable to like counter to artillery fire and stuff. But they pack about as much punch as Craven units. So it was very interesting playing them. Those first few missions though were especially rough, which makes sense given the situation. But, um, but yeah, I, I mean, we had a few where uh, <laughs> we only escaped with our APC and maybe one or two other units. I did like the stealth missions. Like, I, I never even knew uh, about that mechanic where you could look at a unit's uh, sight and attack range. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And, I mean, the stealth missions were a little wonky, but they worked out in the end, I think. And they were a unique idea, and I appreciate that they're willing to deviate from Swedish Armed Forces, that they're willing to um, deviate from just the standard mission. So that was kind of nice. We got to see a little more variety of missions, you know, a little more subterfuge, uh, a little more stealth, which was nice to look at, or nice to play through. Uh, Aerodynes felt more useful. Um, so that was nice. <laughs> um, cause I mean, there, that was the other type of mission they had were ones where you had to take all aerodynes and it made for some unique gameplay where you had to think about how to use your, um, your aerodynes, you know, how to keep them alive since you can't really repair them. I mean, you could repair, you could repair the scouts cause they had that ability, but then you can't take you know, any anti-missile defenses and stuff. So it was very, you had to very carefully think about how you were going to lay out that mission. And that's the kind of strategic thinking I kind of enjoy, you know. And uh, they didn't, you know, try to be like, oh, well, you just have one dropship to do this mission. Like, 
the last game might have done. We're like, oh, uh, radar, uh, anti-air defenses, uh, you can only slip in one dropship. You know, so I, I appreciated this different style of play. I guess my only major complaints is, one, the power armor units. I'm sure they have their niche. They just don't fit into my play style. Um, we certainly fought against them, but um, I didn't really use them myself. Likewise, some of the things that I would have loved to have used, and I kind of wish there was uh, an extra campaign for, you know, Craven and um, Order Forces, is so we could use some of the new Order and Craven units. Um, for example, like the Craven side, they got that radar unit. Like that would be perfect for my play style. But. Um, and then, of course, uh, the Order got their um, their Martyr Infantry unit, amongst other things, which would have been interesting to toy with, at least. But, um, yeah, the other big improvement was the pre-rendered cutscenes. The fact that uh, they went to the effort of rendering them. The cutscenes weren't spaced out the same way as in the first game, because in the first game, you had a cutscene every like at the beginning, and then every five missions afterwards. Um, whereas here, they they were close to that rule, but they didn't quite hold to it. And the pre-rendered cutscenes are a nice touch. Uh, I mean, I, I honestly, I was fine with them using, like, you know, how they have the... They use, like, the in-game units for, like, some of the stuff. As low-res as it is, you know. You know, especially when you're trying to show, like, Sarah and Deacon talking to each other. But, um... But yeah, I think this adds a lot of character, and I think if they had continued with the storyline, with this cast of characters in Ground Control 2, um, I think we could have seen a lot more development. Because, I mean, they already packed in a lot of development, character development for, you know, um, for Deacon Stone, Sarah Parker, and all these other characters, even though, you know, you don't really see them other than their little mission briefing screen and occasionally you know you know sarah's in the apc or jared's in the apc but but overall i i really like this expansion it was a bit more difficult but a lot of fun and it was also just nice to be on other planets too and not be stuck on one planet so that would have been a neat thing too maybe you know that they could have done is uh kind of obviously core gameplay comes first but in theory, you could kind of open this up, maybe, uh, you know, have a, a campaign stretch across multiple planets where you can travel with your RV from planet to planet to take on, you know, maybe optional missions or something that would help you um, in the um, in the primary missions. Kind of like um, what Command and Conquer did with uh, Tiberian Sun and Tiberium Wars. Um that was a system I really liked, but but I think that's going to be it for this series, and it'll probably be a little while before I play Ground Control 2. I <laughs> want a little bit of a break, uh, so we'll have some other games come through the channel, but if you've stuck with it all this way, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with it, and thank you all for watching, and, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then. Stay safe out there.